Welcome to our Unreal Engine tutorial. Today we'll demonstrate how to integrate multiplayer functionality into your game using Convey, alongside voice and chat support for characters. Our demonstration utilizes a scene from Electric Dreams, recently released by Epic. We've added several characters, including one from Ready Player Me, Reillusion, and a metahuman character, to showcase how Convey supports a wide variety of avatar types. Each character we've introduced is compatible with Convey, enabling them to communicate, respond, and perform actions. To effectively demonstrate multiplayer functionality, we've set up our environment with a two-window view. This setup shows the server on the left and the client on the right. Utilizing this configuration allows us to simulate interactions between two distinct players and lets us demonstrate how two players can interact with different characters in the same game world. Let's begin by testing our demo, showing how player one in our multiplayer game can interact with a Convey character. Can you move towards the trees and then return to me? Yes, I can do that. Let's proceed to demonstrate full multiplayer support. To activate multiplayer support, locate your player blueprint. In this instance, I'm using the default third-person blueprint provided in the template. It's located under the third-person folders blueprints. I adjusted the parent class to Convey's base player via the settings and replaced the default character with a metahuman for our purpose. A comprehensive guide on configuring the third-person blueprint is available. Please refer to the video description for details. Next, access your blueprint settings, select the gear icon, and choose to show inherited variables. This reveals new variables under the Convey section, where you can easily enable multiplayer support. To allow players to hear each other, simply activate the corresponding option. Additionally, you can configure the use of a server API so that each client operates with a unique API key. Or you can centralize this by having all clients use the server's API key. This choice influences whether the requests count against your server's API key quota. Once these settings are adjusted, you just need to compile the changes. Now let's interact with one character using the client. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? Actions are also replicated. For instance, can you follow me? Yes, I can follow you. Characters can be instructed to move to other players once names are assigned. For example, by pressing F10, I've named one character Vivian and the other named Max. Now, as Vivian, I can direct a character to move to Max. Can you move to Max? Yes, I can move to Max. Text chat is replicated by default. For instance, on the server side, Hello, how are you? Hello. I'm Zoe, a space explorer with a passion for the stars. How can I assist you today? Let's also look at object and environment replication, which affects how characters perceive and interact with their surroundings. To demonstrate, we'll enable a metahuman character to recognize and interact with a tree stump. This is accomplished by selecting the character in the details panel, adding the object, and selecting it in the scene. This ensures that when new players join, this information is automatically network replicated, eliminating the need for manual management. Let's test this by asking from the client side, a character to move to the trees and then return to me. Hey, can you move to the tree and then back to me again? Yes, I can do that. Now, let's conduct a server test to show that the characters recognize not only the environmental objects, but also other characters within the scene. For instance, we can request a character to move between two others, demonstrating their awareness of each other within the environment. Hey, can you go to Lisa and then back to Joe? Of course I can go to Lisa and then back to Joe. Just give me a moment and I'll be on my way. It's important to note that the system automatically corrects misspelled or incorrectly spoken names, aligning them with the closest match from the character or object list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here we've demonstrated how straightforward it is to integrate multiplayer functionality into your game using Convey. 
Thanks for watching. As always, come by our Discord for any questions or email us at support at convey.com.